And welcome everyone to Q's TV here on our final day in the Bahamas. Brian Higgins, Coach Q, and the Orange went toe to toe with the number one team in the country tonight, falling to the South Carolina Gamecocks, 67-63. Q, you had confidence that this could happen before the game. What, what allowed you to play the game like you did against the number one team? Well, we had to make a decision on on what we were going to allow to happen in this game, and their post players are the best in the country. So we knew we had to pack our zone in and do a good job of just keeping them off the glass and and doing the things that we need to do just just to get every loose ball, every 50-50 ball. I thought our kids really did a very great job of competing on the glass. It was one of those things that inside you had Brianna Day and they had a whole bunch of 6'4 players. She had 17 rebounds. You guys were plus 15 on the boards. Brianna Day was tremendous tonight. And our game plan was, was to give her help, but to get our forwards inside and get our guards rebounded. Mm -hmm. I thought they did a good job of doing that. So our game plan worked, worked really good tonight. Yeah, go figure. The shortest player on the court, Alexis Peterson, also had six rebounds. So everyone was really chipping in in that category. The other thing you did, you packed it in. You knew they were going to... You wanted them to shoot threes. You didn't know if they were going to. They end up making nine, and that was really went in, into your strategy tonight. Yeah, definitely. And, and they and they averaged seven, seven threes, made a game. Mm -hmm. And we knew that if we could hold them to that average, that we had a good, a good chance of winning the basketball game. And they made two over. And I think that was the, that was the biggest difference in what happened. But you know, our kids really just competed at, at a high level. We gave them a lot of credit. They they really got after it. And I'm just really proud of them. How close did you feel a couple times during the game when you had the run and got it up to 15 in the first half, then you got it back to 10 after it had been a close game in the second half? Well, we were just one or, one or two stops away. And as I say in the huddle, mm -hmm. if we can get a bucket and a stop, it's going to be a different ball game. And we just didn't, just, just didn't get that done late in the game. But our kids did a, did, did a really good job of competing at a, at a high level tonight, and I'm really, really proud of that. But they get stuff a lot, a lot of credit. That's why they're the number one team in the country. They made plays down the stretch to win the basketball game. Ordinarily, I think I'd ask you what you learned about your team tonight, but I think you knew this about your team. What did you confirm about your team tonight? Well, I knew they would, they would compete and they were going to play hard. They did a really, really good job of just coming out and playing with a lot of confidence and following the game plan. So. All in all, just really happy about the effort and happy about the things that we've done this weekend here. All right, final thing with Q in the Bahamas. What'd you get out of this uh, whole weekend? Q down here for, you know, the whole week and uh, two days of basketball. And uh, what are you taking back to Syracuse? Well, we played some tough, tough competition. Our two toughest games yet, I thought that East Carolina was a very good basketball team. Mm -hmm. They came out tonight and beat Wisconsin, so, so they proved they're a good basketball team. They beat the BCS Conference School tonight, and we came out and played a really good game in South Carolina, but just didn't get it done. So I feel good about our team, where we are get back home healthy and continue our season. All right, back on the court in the Dome Monday at 7 o'clock versus Vermont. Hope to see you all out there then. For Coach Q, I'm Brian Higgins. Thanks for stopping by. Q's TV.